52%. You cannot believe it. I worked for hours, hours on this stupid test. All right, friends, maybe you can relate with this. It was a couple of months ago that I had that very same experience. And, and, and those are also live quotes, real quotes from what I hear from other people too. Here is my failure paper. It is legit, it is real. I failed. What do they think I have never done anything like this before? Sheesh. And it's kind of discouraging. I mean, what are we going to go back and tell our boss? He just spent $260. I mean, not his money, but yeah, you know, some of them think it's their money. And we just <laughs> threw it down the drain. It's discouraging. But let's just erase all that. I want to tell you something. A quote that I really like by Zig Ziglar. He says, failure is an event, it is not a person. If you fail your test, that is an event. It happened yesterday, happened today, whenever it happened, does not matter. It is done, it is over with, and now you can change that. Magento U does not list on their certification profile for you, for, for Joseph Maxwell. Magento certified cloud professional developer failed, and now, okay, yeah, passed however much later. They don't do that, as such. It is an event, it is not a person. So here's what you need to do in order to be successful the next time. Do not be discouraged. Until you've taken the test, it's a shot in the dark. Now that you have taken it though, here is the good news. You know what you are up against. You know the type of questions. You know the challenging areas. In fact, as you see right here in my piece of paper, it says I got on the Commerce Cloud Fundamentals, I got 37%. On the go live and maintenance, I got 66%. That was better than 37%, but I can see the areas that I struggled in. I now knew what I was up against and I did very well in the second round of this, taking this test. I studied, I prepared, and I passed. So number one, don't be discouraged. This is not the end of your life. Just pick yourself up, brush, brush off the dust, and let's get moving on to point number two. Point number two, immediately after you fail, go back through the study guide, turn it off from Magento Use website and highlight anything area that you felt you were weak on. What areas, just as you're kind of map the questions to the objectives that are listed in the study guide, what areas did you feel weak on? Obviously you have this uh, piece of paper and it, and it gives you the general outlines of where you um, are, are deficient, but you need to figure out those specific areas. And maybe if you remember the questions, go through and research them, study and learn. The, you may or may not see that question again. Don't look at it from a micro perspective. Look at it from the macro perspective. I was just talking to somebody yesterday and this is the advice that I give them. So you might remember those specific questions and if you do, um, obviously don't share them with anybody, that would be cheating, that's wrong. But for you personally, just if you remember them in your mind and say, what, figure out the answer to those questions. Your goal is not to have the right answer if you see that question again. Your goal is to zoom out a little bit and to say, okay, this area I am probably deficient in. It's probably not just this one question. It's this area that there might be other questions coming out of that. And I need to spend some time understanding, digging deeper into this, maybe do a complete deep dive, take four hours and study this area. Research, study, and learn. Remember, the questions you see on this test may or may not be found on future tests. In fact, consider it right now that they won't be found on this test, but there could be a similar question. There could be an area, this question covering the same area, domain of knowledge. In that case, if you just only focus on that question, oh, do I have the right answer now? You'll be hurting, let's just put it that way, if you don't see that question again. Go take that test again. Once you feel like you have brushed up on these areas, you, you feel like you are much more solid than you were previously. Make sure you feel solid on every single point. Review them all, do deep dives where you need to. And then go take the test again. That's number three, just take it. You can do it, I really. Um, I've done it. 
on the tests that I've taken, everyone except for JavaScript, I did fail on the cloud developer, but I took, I studied, I learned, I dug into it, did practical examples, and then I passed. You can do it as well. That's my advice. If you fail a test, remember failure is not a person. It is just an event. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, like it, um, ask questions here in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. I want to see you successful and become a Magento certified professional, whatever it is. Take care. We'll see you next time. Hi, you're still here. Well, that's actually, that is a good thing because that means maybe you liked this video, found it helpful to you. If you did, would you mind clicking the like button? It just takes a split second and that helps me know what videos you found helpful as you are working on this journey of sword certification. And while you're at it, just click this button over here, the subscribe button. It, then you, that way you won't miss any information that I'm putting out and you'll be able to top your game as you work to prepare for achieving your certification. So goodbye for the second time.